Hello and uh, welcome and thank you very much for joining me here today. I'm going to be uh, just uh, giving you a short 45-minute uh, uh, concert, a tribute to the bass baritone crooner. I hope that you're all safe and well. And uh, during this uh, period, uh, we're having lockdown where, where I'm living. And uh, I've just been spending a lot of time with my wife and my two-year-old son. So hopefully uh, he doesn't uh, break the door down in the middle of this session. So um, I hope that you uh, enjoy uh, today and that uh, you'll go away feeling a, a little bit happier maybe because um, that's why I, I sing. I sing because I enjoy making people feel happy. And uh, this type of music also makes me feel happy. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Anyway, I'm going to start with uh, something by Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, he's the one who really started uh, the baritone crooning uh, movement. Even though there were crooners before him, I think he was the one that really changed everything. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this song. It's called uh, Swinging on a Star. Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a mule? A mule is an animal with long funny ears He kicks up at anything he hears His back is brawny and his brain is weak He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak And by the way, if you hate to go to school You may grow up to be a mule Or would you like to swing on a star Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a pig A pig is an animal with dirt on his face His shoes are a terrible disgrace he has no manners when he eats his food He's fat and lazy and extremely rude But if you don't care a feather or a fig You may grow up to be a pig Or would you like to swing on a star Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a fish a fish won't do anything but swim in a brook It can't write its name or read a book To fool the people is his only thought And though he's slippery he still gets caught But if that kind of life is what you wish You may grow up to be a fish Oh here, enjoying yourself right now some kind of jumped up slippery fish And all the monkeys aren't in the zoo Every day you meet quite a few So you see it's all up to you You can be better than you are You couldn't be swinging on a star Bing Crosby with Swinging on a Star. That one was a uh, Grammy. Uh, that won a Grammy back in the day, uh, 1944, I think it was. So, yeah, I'll be doing a lot of the 1930s, 1940s uh, type of um, uh, songs at the moment. And we'll be doing 40s, 50s, and 60s. So, uh, what is crooning, though? What is crooning? You might have that question on you. Well, before the microphone was uh, popular and before it was, you know, used by singers, uh, the only way to get your sound heard was to either sound like operatic, like um, uh, like oh, that type of sound, uh, slightly more, uh, well, um, of course I'm just, uh, that's not quite accurate, but you know, it's that loud sound, either that or blues shouting. And then people like Rudy Valley, he used a megaphone to get his voice heard, and that megaphone was what allowed uh, people to sing softly. Now before being Crosby, people sang very high, and often use their falsetto as well. And so that's why Bing Crosby really changed it to make it um, very bass baritone uh, crooning style. Now, the next song I'm going to give you is, is a number by Cliff Edwards. Cliff Edwards, he, was, uh, he, he started his career before Bing, but 
uh, he sang in a high voice and played a number of uh, cartoon characters. Uh, I'll be performing it in a big baritone version, so hope you enjoy this. It's an Academy Award winning song called When You Wish Upon a Star. <laughs> star makes no difference who you are anything your heart desires will come to you if your heart is in your dream no request Cliff Edwards, When You Wish Upon a Star. Uh, beautiful, beautiful song and uh, sang that, had to sing that a cappella for a, a wedding that I was singing at a few months ago. Uh, it was a surprise request, so I had to sing that a cappella. But if I was to do it again, I'd probably do it with this backing track. Um, now, uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have a live band today and uh, I do miss them. It would be nice to have a, a saxophonist and a pianist and a uh, drummer and bassist, but unfortunately, that's not what uh, what we can do under these current circumstances. Um, so, yeah, we have to make do with what we've got. But I still hope you're enjoying um, the performance so far. Next, I'd like to sing a song by uh, Herb Jeffries. Herb Jeffries was um, uh, the first singer with the Duke Ellington Orchestra, and uh, he originally sang in falsetto, like many of the other crooners. But after Bing Crosby became very popular, um, Duke Ellington's orchestra asked him to lower his voice. Now, he was already a bass baritone, but he sang a lot in falsetto. So this song that I'm going to sing, called Flamingo, uh, was written specifically for him to uh, draw out his bass baritone uh, qualities as well as the falsetto. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this one. It was the first um, hit ballad by an African-American uh, uh, singer. And it sold more than 14 million copies. And uh, it, yeah, it became a gold record. So he became known as the Black Bing. So hope you enjoy this one. Flamingo Like a flame in the sky Flying over the island To my love nearby Flamingo With your tropical view For it's you I rely on And a love that is true The wind 
sings a song to you as you go a song that I hear below the murmuring palms flamingo when the sun meets the sea say farewell to my lover and hasten to me Say farewell to my lover and hasten to Jeffries and the Duke Ellington Orchestra with Flamingo. Now, um, once again, crooning is a very quiet way of singing. Uh, we don't usually sing at the, the top of our voices. We tend to uh, sing very gently. And um, uh, people like uh, Mel um, uh, Chet, Chet Atkins, for example, he'd be a very good example as well. Um, and, and, and it's about singing quietly because we have a microphone and we don't need to sing at the top of our voices. Um, however, uh, some examples that we have, they, they still use both. So the next singer I'm going to be introducing is Billy Eckstein. And this is going more into the 50s now. And he led the first bebop orchestra. So the people in his orchestra included Dizzy Gillespie um, and uh, Miles Davis, uh, Charlie Parker. Those guys were all part of his orchestra. Now, unfortunately, um, the bebop uh, wasn't as popular as, uh, well, pop music, and so um, but Billy Eckstein moved on from that, and he became a solo uh, a singer who became so popular that he drew bigger crowds than Frank Sinatra. And, of course, he's African-American, which meant that the white radio stations weren't so happy about him, and in 1950, they started banning his... Uh, music on air and um, but unfortunately yeah so unfortunately he he his career was cut uh, a little bit but he still did very well considering uh, that the, the racial segregation of the time now it's uh, the next song that i'm going to do is from his post bebop years he has more of an operatic quality about his voice uh, so he uh, doesn't sing as quietly as uh, bing crosby for example and this one is called i'm beginning to see the light <laughs> Never cared much for moonlit skies. I never winked back at fireflies. But now that the stars are in your eyes, I'm beginning to see the light. I never went in for afterglow or candlelight on the mistletoe. But now that you've turned the lights down low. I'm beginning to see the light Used to ramble through the park Shadow boxing in the dark Then you came and caused a spark That's a four alarm fire now I never made love by lantern shine I never saw rainbows in my wine But now that your lips are burning mine I'm beginning to see the light
used to ramble through the park Shadow boxing in the dark Then you came and caused a spark That's a four alarm fire now I never made love by a lantern shine I never saw rainbows in my wine But now that your lips are close to mine I'm beginning to see the light I used to ramble through the park and shadow box or through the dark I'm beginning to see the light Billy Eckstein's I'm Beginning to See the Light. I hope you enjoyed that one. It's uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Now, um, one of my favorite singers from the 1940s and 50s uh, is uh, the, the late, great Nat King Cole. And um, he didn't have as uh, a deep a voice as many of the other singers, but he, ha but he still sang as low as them on occasion. And uh, along with Billy Eckstein and Herb Jeffries, he's, he was one of the top three highest paid African-American uh, entertainers by the 1950s. And when I was a kid, uh, Nat King Cole would play, uh, I mean, my mum would play Nat King Cole CD all the time. And that was, uh, so by default, he's become one of my biggest influences, and I love his singing. So uh, this next song is called In the Mood for Love. I'm in the mood for love. Simply because you're near me Funny, but when you're near me I'm in the mood for love Heaven is in your eyes Bright as the stars we're under Oh, is it any wonder I'm in the mood for love Why stop to think of weather This little dream might fade We put our hearts together now we are one I'm not afraid If there's a cloud above If it should rain We'll let it But for tonight Forget it I'm in the mood For love Our hearts together. Now we are one. I'm not afraid if there's a cloud above. If it should rain, we'll let it. But for tonight, forget it. King Cole with In the Mood for Love. Now, based on that, 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 the song I just sang was a very popular standard called In the Mood. And there was a, a, very, and a, a popular thing to do in jazz is to take uh, the original chords of the song and take that song and completely do a, a new improvisation over that. And so there was a saxophonist called James Moody who did that. And uh, he created a solo for that. Now, another singer, another jazz singer called Eddie Jefferson, who is not a bass baritone, 
Um, he's, uh, and he's not a crooner either, but he took that and he wrote new lyrics to the improvisation. And these, uh, this style of singing is, is called vocalese. I hope you enjoy this one. It's, um, it's, um, you will hear some of the lyrics uh, in this song relating to In the Mood for Love. Uh, and the original uh, James Moody version uh, has uh, saxophone and piano soloing. And so what Eddie Jefferson does, he uh, sings in a lower register for the saxophone and in a higher register for the piano. So hopefully uh, you can tell when I do that. So if you can see where I switch from uh, the saxophone to the piano and back again, uh, maybe you can make a comment and uh, uh, let me know if you managed to spot that one. All right, so let's see if uh, you can do that. Moody's Mood for Love by Eddie Jefferson. <laughs> There I go, there I go, there I go, there I go Pretty baby, you are the soul that snaps my control Such a funny thing, but every time you're near me, I never can behave You give me a smile and then I'm wrapped up in your magic There's music all around me Crazy music, music that keeps drawing me so Very close to you, turns me your slave Come and do with me any little thing you want to Anything baby, just let me get next to you Am I insane or do I really see heaven in your eyes? Brightest stars that shine up above us in the clear blue skies How I worry about you, just can't live my life without you Baby, come here, don't have no fear, no Is there a wonder why I'm really feeling in the mood for love So tell me why, stop to think about this weather, my dear this little dream might fade away There I go talking out of my head again Oh baby, won't you come and put our two hearts together That would make me strong and brave Oh, when we are one I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid If there's a cloud up above us Come on and let it rain I'm sure our love together could endure a hurricane Oh, my baby, wouldn't you let me love you and get some relief from this awful misery? What is all this talk about loving me, my sweet? I am not afraid, not anymore, not like before. Can't you understand me, oh, baby, please? Pull yourself together, do it soon. My soul's on I'll be what you make me, my darling, my sweet Oh, baby, you make me feel so good Let me take you by the hand Come, let us visit out there In that new promised land Maybe there we can find A good place to leave a loving state of mind I'm so tired of being without love and Never knowing what love's about, James Moody, you can come on out now and you can blow now if you want to, I'm through. Fantastic uh, vocalese, um, uh, yeah, lyric writing by Eddie Jefferson, uh, made famous by King Pleasure if you are more uh, familiar with the other version. Uh, but yes, at this time I would like to do one of my own numbers. Uh, this was a uh, piece that I wrote uh, for my wife uh, when we were courting. And I used to wait outside her place of work and uh, wait for, sometimes she'd work overtime for a few hours and I would be waiting in my car, just uh, sitting there, wishing for her to come out. So this song is called Sitting, Wishing, Waiting. <laughs> Sit. 
Sitting in the park, wishing on a star, waiting for my baby. I'm just sitting here, wishing, waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Wondering what to do, there's still no sight of you. I just miss my baby. I'm just sitting here, wishing, waiting for you. She's got the biggest heart and the sweetest smile She never makes me worry So from the morning sun till it's half past one I'll be waiting till the evening comes Sitting in the dark, I'm counting all the stars Finally there's my baby I'm just sitting here wishing, waiting for you Sitting in the park, wishing on a star, waiting for my baby. I'm just sitting here, wishing, waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what to do, there's still no sight of you. I just miss my baby. I'm just sitting here, wishing, waiting for you. She's got the biggest heart and the sweetest mouth She never makes me worry So from the morning sun till it's half past one I'll be waiting till the evening comes I'm sitting in the dark counting all the stars Finally there's my baby I'm just sitting here wishing, waiting for Sitting here Wishing, waiting for, sitting here, wishing, waiting for you. And thankfully, yes, she is now my wife, and she did accept my proposal, uh, which is very nice. So, uh, yes, anyway, sorry about that. Johnny Hartman, Johnny Hartman, let me talk about the next um, uh, singer I'd like to talk about. We're going into the 1960s. And Johnny Hartman, he started singing at a very uh, young age, about 19, 20 years old, when he first started uh, working with jazz orchestras. But it wasn't until he was 40 and he did a collaboration uh, with John Coltrane that uh, that's what really put, in, put, put him on the map. So by the time that he died at the age of 60, um, which is quite young actually, he was regarded, uh, one of the most highly regarded singers in jazz. Uh, anyway, I hope you like this one. Uh, this is called My One and Only Love. Tender, 
my one and only love. The touch of your hand is like heaven, a heaven that I never know. The blush of your cheek Whenever I speak Tells me that you are my own You fill my eager heart With such desire Every kiss you give it's my soul on fire I give myself in sweet surrender My one and only love My one and only Johnny Hartman and John Coltrane's "My One and Only Love." I've tried to uh, uh, I've tried to make the backing tracks as uh, close to their original style as possible, um, and uh, and uh, without uh, doing a direct copy, uh, so that I don't uh, get in trouble for copyright infringement. Uh, but yeah, so now uh, apart from uh, uh, now going a bit further away from uh, jazz, so we uh, Bing Crosby he. Um, he influenced not only jazz crooners and pop crooners, but he also influenced a lot of country crooners. So at this moment, I'm going to do a rendition by uh, one popular country crooner called Jim Reeves. And uh, again, this is one of the CDs that my mom used to play when I was a kid. So Jim Reeves and Nat King Cole were the two subliminal, subconscious uh, major influences on my singing uh, without even me wanting to listen to them when I was a kid. So, uh, so yes, I think I'm going to brainwash my own kids uh, with music. Uh, my, well, my kid, my son, I'll make sure that he listens to everything I want him to sing in the future. So this song is called, He'll Have to Go. Put your sweet lips a little closer to the phone Let's pretend that we're together all alone I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low And you can tell your friend there with you He'll have to go Whisper to me Tell me do you love me true Or is he holding you The way I do Though love is blind Make up your mind I've got to know should I hang up, or will you tell him you have to go? You can say the words I want to hear when you're with another man. Do you want me answer yes or no? Darling, I will understand. Put your sweet lips a little closer to the phone Let's pretend that we're together all alone I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low and 
you can tell your friend there with you he'll have to go so for all you country lovers out there I hope you enjoyed a, a little snippet by uh, Jim Reeves uh, going even further away from uh, jazz and pop and country uh, we, we, I'm going to take you to Malaysia. Now, Malaysia was the country I was born in, and um, I'm, I'm, uh, um, I was born on the island of Borneo. It is very exotic and uh, was written about in popular song even as early as the 1920s. And uh, yeah, but uh, North Borneo is where I'm from, and uh, it's part of Malaysia. Now, in Malaysia, we had an actor and singer who was a fantastic crooner, and his name was P. Romley, and this was in the 1950s. He fused Western music and Malay music. So this song that I'm going to be singing will be sung in its original language, uh, which is Malay, and it's called Kitaran Jiwa. I hope you enjoy this one. before, I would recommend that uh, uh, you can Google him up and uh, see what, what type of thing he does. It, lovely singing, uh, lovely ballads uh, by the great man. Uh, now, I'd like to do another one of my own compositions. Uh, this one is called Before You Say Goodnight. Again, uh, inspired by my wife uh, when I was courting at that time. Uh, please enjoy. Let me hold you tight I'll keep you in my arms And wrap you all in love My love Before you say goodbye 
Just tell me that you're mine And kiss me one more time Before you say goodnight Before you say goodnight Thank you very much. Um, I'll, uh, the, the, I'm uh, getting close to the end of our session together, and thankfully my son hasn't busted down the door, and, uh, and uh, I think he's still asleep, hopefully, and uh, hopefully he'll stay asleep for the, the last two songs. I'm going to be singing a song by Arthur Prysock, and uh, he's mostly well known for soul ballads. I've written, uh, I've read a number of jazz books, and uh, unfortunately, he's only there in the uh, footnotes or the end notes. But he is a very good singer, and uh, uh, well worth listening to. And I'm going to be doing his um, his version of My Funny Valentine. My funny valentine A sweet comic valentine You make me smile With my heart Your looks are laughable Unphotographable Yet you're my favorite work of art Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you smart? Don't 
lasting joy for me Not if you care for me Stay little Valentine Stay Day is Valentine's Day. Stay little Valentine, stay. Day is Valentine's, Valentine's Day. So ladies and gentlemen, again, that was Arthur Prysock's uh, version of My Fal uh, Funny Valentine. Please have, a, uh, you can Google him up and uh, have a listen to him um, as a really good song uh, and a really good singer. He even sang with the Count, uh, the Count Basie Orchestra, so that's how good he is. Um, uh, let's see, my final song, this is it. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say thank you so much for uh, being uh, with me and staying with me. If, uh, if, if you've just tuned in, uh, you're, you're close to the end, but thank you for tuning in anyway. And uh, I hope that all of you out there are still going to be uh, remaining healthy and uh, please stay safe. Um, if, you do, if you do want to buy me a coffee, you can just go to the description where you'll see a link to uh, uh, buy, me uh, buy me a coffee. And you can just click on that. And if you want to, you can buy me a coffee or a glass of wine. Either I'm very happy uh, for anything you want to give me to drink. Uh, but yes, my last song uh, for today is going to be Nat King Cole's I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter And make believe that it came from you I'm gonna write words oh so sweet they're gonna knock me off of my feet a lot of kisses at the bottom I'll be glad I'll got them I'm gonna smile and say I hope you're feeling better and close with love the way that you do I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe it came from you I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe that it came from you I'm gonna write words oh so sweet yeah a lot of kisses at the bottom I'll be glad I got a mom gonna smile and say I hope you're feeling better and sign with love the way that you do 
I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe it came from you. I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe it came. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A Nat King Coles. I'm going to sit right down uh, and write myself a letter. Um, and that's it uh, for today. I want to say once again, thank you so much uh, for uh, tuning in. Thank you so much for being in here. I really appreciate it. And if there's anything that you would, uh, if you have any requests that you'd like me to record, uh, you'd like me to sing, please let me know and um, I'll try to upload a, a, a video for you. Uh, and that's it. Uh, God bless and good night. Thank you.